All right, well, a Houston woman thought she was getting a really good deal on an electricity contract. Bob, when she realized she was paying more than she was promised and that deal went bad, there were fees attached. She couldn't get any answers, so she turned to Ted. Linda Harrod knew her electricity contract was about to expire and she was looking for the next one. Minding my own business, doing my own thing, and uh, somebody knocked at the front door. It was a salesman from Just Energy, a retail electric provider. Linda says he knew a whole lot about her plan and offered a good rate. He knew when my contract expired with my current provider. Um, he knew my meter number. He offered me a rate. Uh, 10 cents per kilowatt hour. But when she got her contract, it showed twice that. Even when you factor in free nights and weekends, the contract was still higher than what she says she was promised verbally, and that wasn't the only problem. Linda had been charged a $135 early cancellation fee when Just Energy changed her over too soon. That was not what I you wanted. You wanted one contract to expire and a new one to start. Yeah, so it would have been seamless. I wouldn't have any hassles. Her new provider would have covered the cancellation fee if she'd stayed with them, but since the price wasn't what she says she was promised, she wanted out and the new company wouldn't pay the fee. She called and called, but tells us Just Energy just wouldn't budge, so she turned to Ted. I called you two days ago. Uh, yesterday afternoon, I got a call from Just Energy saying that they were uh, reimbursing me about $135. Just Energy tells us the matter has been resolved. The company claims all of their processes and policies were followed, but weren't clear to the customers, so they paid the early fee as a gesture of goodwill. As for you, what really matters in situations like this is what you sign, especially if there's a dispute between the sales pitch you remember and the contract you put your signature on. The Public Utility Commission recommends reading everything, even if it's on a tablet. Don't sign it if you can't read it all. They also recommend knowing your cancellation date and making sure it's spelled out explicitly in those contracts. Ted Oberg, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.